Back in the shed again, new bottle of gas, been laying down some welds on the frame. Uh, finished welding out what I had started and then ran out of gas. We got them all tigged in nice and beautiful. I'll give you a look. This is him. All finished up, welded now. Uh, we need to get on to making some little angle brackets to mount these little bad boys in the corners because the engine plate and compressor are going to float on rubber bushings separate to the actual tank frame is make little triangles in here that these little boys bolt down and then the big plate sit on top of them and bolt down as well so we'll get to it So, I've done a little bit off camera, I'll just show you what I've done. We have, these are the holes you see me trying to drill. Got there eventually. They are for these little cotton reel mountings. And my little brackets that I made to go in the corners, I've welded them in. Next thing I'm onto, see the mark on me a bit of pipe, I've got to cut him off. Put me um, copper back in the vise. And then fit this piece to there. Weld a half inch BSB bung to the top of him for the water trap. So let's get into it. So what you just let me there do there is chuck a cope in that bad boy, get ready to go on, and I busted the big hole in that one, so she's ready to receive air. I was going to weld it on, as you see me trying to set up, but I think I better cut these out first. I'll weld the end plate on this one, plus the side bung first, because it's just a lot easier when I can move this bit around. And um, we'll weld that out before we weld onto the frame. And we'll move on to mounting this bad girl and all those on top and start plumbing. We're almost there. Getting there, slowly. Just finished welding in all the little end plates. I'll give you a bit of a look at what I've just done. So just really easy. I'm not gonna touch them or not. I also added a bit more weld onto some of these guys. Yeah, just quickly weld the ends in. Weld the end on this guy before focus. 
the heat is now ready after I weld the bung in to go there. So I've got to pop a hole and weld his bung in just again because it's easier to do it now than it is to do it after I welded it to the big frame. Um, so that's where I'm at. I'll um, keep plugging away at it. I'm probably going to give it up for tonight and I'll see you in the morning. just give you a look at what I was just doing then all our little bungs and that I've just been grinding and cutting to fit in certain places so they can weld them on I've got to now decide where they're all going and obviously put a hole so that they go into the tank so that's the next step these ones Done something a little bit different. He's got to go over that hole, and then this one gets welded on top of him because that's your pressure relief valve. If something goes wrong, it releases all the pressure in your tank. That's this little girl here, and that's the outlet that goes to your water separator, oil separator. Get some welding happening, and we'll get this thing finished off. Raining again, sorry for that noise. But we've got all of our bungs fully welded in now. There's going in that one from the compressor. Got a little bugger down the bottom here. And I've welded this bad boy in. I welded up. It's just an adapter that doesn't want to come out now. It's all there. So you got in from the compressor, out from the compressor, or out from the tank rather, into, you just see me playing around and putting the filter on, he goes there, from there he'll go down into the bottom of the charcoal filter which I haven't built yet, getting there, and this one down here will be as simple as putting a tap in it, he'll slot in there nicely, that's the drain bung. Just tap, ready to go. All I've got to do now is put oh, hand around the right way. That's the um, that one-way valve we've talked about before. Uh, he'll go in there, pointing that way. A little tap off the side of that one, so we can drain the air off as again to release the pressure off the head of the compressor, so we can start the bastard again. So he's got to go in, he's ready to go in, he's ready to go in, all we've got to do is build our charcoal filter and put it all together. We've done pretty good so far actually, um, apart from having the gas run out and splitting the videos up, we're um, well on our way to getting this finished in timely fashion. So we'll keep our head down, ass up and keep going. Alright, so I've got all my pieces together. You know these pieces. I've still got to do the o-ring groove, so I can't weld him on yet. Drill him right through and weld on... One of them. For the outlet for the hoses to go to. I've got to cut another one of these to go on the bottom of the pipe, which will become the filter. And then this piece, the angle on, or oh, stainless angle on. Once the base is welded up, 
and sealed. I weld him to that. Hole here, hole here. Shape the back of it so it looks a bit prettier. And then that will get bolted down to there. So you can remove the whole assembly. So you sort of see how this is all going to run now. Once you go through that filter, there'll be a pipe that goes from the outlet on that one all the way down to the base of this one, which I've got to drill the hole and weld in a large bung, half inch, I believe. So we will get to it. What you just seen me do now is we got our top whirled in with the o-ring groove you can see now I've machined into it. Got this bung welded to the top plate. So he's ready to go. He's the one that goes on top of old mate. With an o-ring between the two. Four bolts, Bob's your uncle. I would actually weld the bolts on from underneath, so only one spanner required to get into the filter. I've got this piece of plate here. What I'm going to do with it is weld that to there. Hole here, hole there. That will then bolt down to that plate, which is the motor mount. Hence, then, removal. So you can pull the system apart easier. I also, you would have watched me just make these little doohickeys. I'm not going to touch this because it's actually hot. See, these little plates here are actually the holes I cut out of the pipe when I used the notcher. I welded the bolt to those and then welded them all the way down. That way, this won't fatigue on the tank itself. If anything, it'll fatigue this little piece, and if it does eventually crack, it's not going to create a air leak. So I did four of those, one for each corner, and they, of course, have our little mates sit on them with a couple of washers. So we have some rubber feet on the bottom. So that's all put together now. Um, we're nearly at the stage where we can put this thing together. I've just got to finish that plate off to mount the filter and weld it to the bottom of the filter, then drill the holes that's needed to mount it to the plate. Um, once that's done, I think we can start doing some assembly, which we'll get to actually see what it's starting to look like then, and you'll get a better idea of how this all works. So we'll just keep on trucking. Well, there she is. All put together, finished up. This is your intake tubes. You always want to have them as far away from the exhaust as you can get them. Last thing you want to do is suck carbon monoxide down. But other than that, she's all running. She's up the pressure and holding. All oh, that's good. The filter hasn't got any um, media inside it, so I'm not going to try and breathe through it. But Compressor runs, all holds pressure, all my welds are sealed. Motor sounds good, compressor's working good. We're um, all finished. So if you have any questions, whack them down below. I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. But yeah, these are pretty simple builds. A lot of piss farting around welding, basically. Getting all that right. But after that, they're pretty... Um, pretty simple. As long as you've got compressed air going through, water oil separator, then through your carbon and felt pads, you're pretty safe. Just keep them changed regularly and keep the um, water truck cleaned out. Other than that, build your own, send me some photos, and um, we'll uh, take a look at what you do. Take it easy.